Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the secret Nuka Cola power armor skin for the T-51B power armor. Now this has been in the game since the start but I bet a lot of players won't even know it exists and a bunch of old players probably completely forgot about it. That all being said if you enjoyed the video and find it helpful make sure to click on that like button and if you're new around here and want to see more Fallout 76 videos and guides make sure to subscribe. Let's dive straight in. Okay, so one thing to note before I show all of the steps. There is a whole story that links with this power armor and it is kind of like an unmarked quest in the game that sends you on some form of kind of like wild goose chase following loads of different clues. For the sake of this video I am just going to show you exactly like where to go and where to find each key so I will be skipping over all of the interest and lore and everything like that but I do advise you to go check it out when you actually go and do this yourself. Just have a little bit of fun with it and kind of learn the story of the whole thing as well. Alright, so starting off then, you will want to head over to the Pylon V13 on the east side of the map near the abandoned bog town. Go to the little area on the screen and this will take you to a skeleton lying beside a duffel bag. And now it's going to be in this duffel bag where you'll find the first key that you're looking for. Now once you've got this key, the next stop on the list is going to be to go to Watoga. Again, follow the route on screen just outside the Watoga shopping plaza and you will find a toolbox lying beside another skeleton. Open it up and here you'll find the next key and this time it's one for Clara's box. Now Clara's box is located in the lovely little town of Sutton just down from the Overseer. If you head down to kind of like the bottom area of Sutton as you can see on screen, out the back of the little houses you will spot a little dog house with an ammo crate inside it. Now you can use the key that you just got to open this one and then this one will give you the Nuka Cola locker key. Now if you didn't guess by now of course with the name Nuka Cola it's quite kind of a big clue as where you need to go for this one and that's going to be the Nuka Cola plant. Now be careful this one is kind of a little bit easy to wander off and get a little bit lost so just follow the path that I do on screen, head upstairs and then you will find the next one. Warning you will have to pick lock a door for this bit but once you get through that door there's a couple of enemies you walk through and then you should find the locker lying on the floor. Now thankfully it's this locker that actually gives you the final key because this one is the one for Dome 3. Now Dome 3 if you don't know is located right beside the Black Ordnance Works bunker in the top left of the map. Now you have the final key all you have to do is literally go there and go straight up to the dome and this key will unlock the door. So go inside you'll find a bunch of Nuka Cola kind of merchandise, you'll find some Nuka Colas and you should also find the plan for the Nuka Cola Power Armor skin lying on the table in front of you. Now bear in mind guys this skin is only applicable to the T-51B power armor so it might not be the perfect one for your power armor but if you're a Nuka Cola enthusiast or maybe you just want it at your camp you're probably going to want to pick this up. Maybe you're a collector I don't know but either way it's a pretty cool little thing to have. There we go though guys that is all of the steps to go and get the Nuka Cola power armor. There is also another one which I will be doing a guide on shortly no doubt so stay tuned for that one and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. If you've enjoyed this one though make sure to click on the like button and I will catch you all in the next one. Remember guys to go and like go through it all, read through all the notes and stuff just to get a little bit of fun with it, the law of it and stuff and try and actually work out the stuff for yourself but yeah this is just a quick guide to do it because it is a stressful thing trying to work out where you're meant to go. Anyways that being said catch you in the next one. Bye bye.